Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I see so many students these days who enter into the world of computer science because they want to get good with computers, but they end up writing CRUD apps. Okay. And this is just painful, stupid, and they don't even realize this is stupid. They feel like they are writing programs, like they are coding. And in reality, it's just handling some request and not such, um, it's, it's just bullshit. Okay. Um, I mean, you can do it for like uh, one or two projects uh, just to understand how HTTP works. But if you are keep doing it, this is just stupid. So let me make a quick um, virtual environment of Python so I can install this library Flask, which is a framework which allow you to handle HTTP requests. Uh, in order to show you, like I want to show you that how you can you know do it in a better way because if you're doing it if you're writing CRUD apps then at least do it properly at least understand how things are happening and in order to understand things properly uh, this is how you, you should write things okay so first let me uh, okay there is one thing this video is not about python this is not about node.js this is actually about curl okay curl is a program let me open the man page which allow you to make a HTTP request so what these students these people do is they write the back end and then they write the html front end forms like you know just to test their back end so they keep going to their browsers and you know click on refresh button to check whether the back end is working correct or not which is just stupid like it, it it shows like how badly you understand the case okay you don't understand how things are working you're just you know just uh, memorizing all this like not understanding it properly so let me import flask from okay what the fuck i time from flask import flask and let me make an app okay app is just an object of flask and uh, now i can set a route this is a test route test route and uh, why i'm okay so this is basically how you write code in you know python in case if you're not familiar it doesn't matter like you don't have to be a python pro uh, to understand this video this is just a very stupid hello world program um okay hello world app dot run debug is equal to true so this is the code line nine nine line code okay sorry about that so this is the function which we are going to run to run this function what we have to do is we have to make a post request like um okay this request actually so we have to make a slash test request like a um, http request and we have to make a get request because this uh, the methods which we are giving is just get currently all right if we want to handle the post request then we also have to write a post request here now let's just save it run it uh python test.py and as you can see my server is started all right so let me copy this link and open browser and type slash test. All right. So make sure to type slash test because this is the only function which we wrote. So we are only handling this route. If we try to handle any other route, we are not going to get anything else. So as you can see, we got hello world. This is cool. Now, if I go back and do any change in my function, so if I stop, open, and just fix some spelling mistake, run it again. Now, what noobs do? Okay, what noobs do? They just, you know, refresh it again like this and check whether it worked or not. All right. So they keep making this application in real time. They, you know, write a front end. So if there is any problem with the front end, they are going to get confused. Now, you don't have to do this. Okay what you can do is you can do it in a better way which is much cleaner way you can use curl okay so pass the parameter hyphen x and then get request to http 127 uh, let me just paste it okay so slash test enter so i made a get request as you can see uh, the time is there and um, this is the protocol basically so it's uh, first you will write get and then okay this is just you know some information like okay locks so here you can see i got the hello world just like here so this is so better we are getting the data all right so this is like abstraction now you can also do all kind of stuff okay you don't have to make front end forms which most people do let's just stop it open it and instead of get get let's just handle post all right so uh, let's just get some data like name 
so let's assume that we are we are going to make a form like username so uh, in order to do all these kind of shit we have to import request okay so request dot form dot get name okay uh, username and then password same thing password same thing for password and password all right so we are done now this is if username is equal to password <laughs> it's um and password equal to my username is password and my password is password all right silicon valley reference okay so then you are locked in you are let me logged in else return you are not logged in all right get it so this is our program and this is where we are basically doing some basic authentication of course we are going to make some database queries here all right but uh, it's this is just a dummy program all right so just save it and now we are going to use this curl all right if you don't have curl then you have to write an html page a form you know a login form in the front end but fortunately since we have curl we can just you know do it like this so we can post some data like um, wait 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 let me um name username okay i want to place it here this is okay sorry yeah so username is uh, password and and where is my end okay password is password all right so this is basically how you pass the form data uh, in curl and if i press enter so you are locked in okay because i i entered the right information now let's just change the information let's just misspell the password and press enter you are not locked in okay so you're not locked in now the good thing is you don't really have to go and deal with any html any front end you can be a backend engineer who just write backend and don't care about any front end by using curl this is so cool so write a you know crud app any application write the entire backend first write everything in the backend you know all the functions and you know use curl to test it and write test all right you write a shell script to test.sh and then you know just copy these uh, curl functions and just put this in something like this okay how do i paste all right so just make a for loop and you know test scripts and this is so clean this is so better and people don't do it mostly i see so many students who you know they don't teach it like teachers don't teach it properly this is also one reason okay so i remember i uh, taught some students in my college and uh, i teach them i first introduced them with curl and then i you know moved on and i explained all this how to write these backend programs so they get better idea of the protocols and everything so this is what minimal programs helps you and these command line utilities helps you like you get better understandings of things and uh, so don't just jump into you know learning everything like i want to make the best application i want to learn react first understand the basic and then move on okay so that's the tip and uh, thanks for watching this video